Hi everyone, this is Madeline Zarkowski from PCTV's WOW Report with what's on this week. We're currently standing outside of Pennsylvania State Representative Joe Cerisi's office, and you're gonna wanna stay tuned because we're going to be asking him some questions that you might have as well. What would your fair funding formula for education look like and what would the benefits be? Well, if we were able to get the fair funding formula to um, be fully funded, uh, it would look like every school district would have exactly what they need. The fair funding formula is already out there. All we're asking for is to get the money that the formula is supposed to have and get it into the formula so the school districts get everything they need. Um, so we would finally see that Pennsylvania would go from like 45th maybe in the nation to somewhere in the higher numbers to maybe 10 um, or 9 or 8 in funding at public education, which would be something that we should all be proud of, not proud of the number that we currently have of funding public education. And I know that you're fighting for health care access for all, and what is your plan to make that possible? To continue to work with the legislators, to continue to work with the other side of the aisle, to make sure that we find the affordability, to work with the insurance companies to lower the prices. Um, we've been talking to one of the insulin manufacturers about what the cost of insulin is, which is very variable. Um, but there is a Republican bill right now to get insulin prices way down, so that would be the beginning of being able to start this. Last session, we also worked across the aisle to come up with a bill that saved millions for people for access to health care. And what's your biggest priority right now as Pennsylvania State Representative? Now that's a loaded question because <laughs> it's not one, it's many. I mean, of course, you always want to make sure every constituent has what they need. My biggest bill that I have right now is House Bill 272, which reforms um, uh, charter and cyber charters and brings millions back to the districts. But coming out of this pandemic, we have to make sure that the jobs are created right, that the salaries are high paying jobs, health care like you brought up, that hospitals will have what they need and health care workers. So we never end up where we are again in the future to where we ended through this pandemic. Now, we just have one last question for you and we don't have to put it in if you don't want to, but there have been so many arguments over politics recently and in your opinion, we wanna know why can't Republicans and Democrats just get along and be civil? Um, well, you know, I'm civil. Uh, I don't know why. Um, I think that where we are as a nation needs to cool down. I think that we need to at least be able to sit at a table and listen to each other. We don't have to agree. You know, I often say families don't agree, but at least you could sit and be civil to each other and have a conversation. I think I need to understand where you come from, and you need to understand where I come from, and then we sit and work together. Um, I would hope that over the next few years we would see the temperature cool, um, but who knows? It's like the old saying, cats and dogs. Well, I see a lot of cats and dogs that get along together. You know, like, why can't we all just work it out? Um, but it, it is, I don't know. I, sometimes, some days I say, okay, we're getting, this, this is a much better situation. Other days, I'm like, what, what happened? Well, thank you so much. That's all of our questions. Well, thank you. <laughs> Hi everyone, we just took a quick drive down to Gilbertsville and now we're outside Pennsylvania State Representative Tracy Pennycook's office. Follow us inside to see what she has to say. Okay, so the first question I have for you is how has being a U.S. Army combat veteran shaped your political views? Um, I think being a combat veteran you kind of have an opportunity to analyze the situation and look at it from many different angles and I kind of do that with politics as well. I have my core values um, and then I apply those and my experience to every issue that comes across my desk. That's great. Um, and then I also know you're a small business owner. Mm -hmm. So with everything going on with COVID-19, I wanted to ask you, how is your business affected by that? And how are you supporting other local families and businesses affected by COVID-19? So I had a complete shutdown. Um, and I had contracts, so that was a little bit challenging, um, working around uh, meeting contract deadlines and still upholding the contract while everyone was shut down. We were able to catch up, which we were very, very lucky. Um, and locally, we have a lot of um, support for local families. Opening back up businesses, the number one way to get people back to work um, is the only way to really help businesses. But there's also um, PPP loans, um, the CARES money is helping tremendously, but honestly, opening up is the best way to get a business back on solid footing. Mm -hmm. And then switching topics, um, how are you planning to reduce the cost of health care? 
Ooh, healthcare is a tough one. I think the number one thing with healthcare is you've got to get the insurance companies on board. And in healthcare costs are, are dictated by insurance companies. Um, I think transparency of cost and allowing a consumer to shop for the best price is a big start. And knowing what you're getting for your dollar is really important. So if you can get an MRI that is maybe one price at one facility and another price at another facility, being allowed to go to the lower cost is a, is a good start for curbing outrageous healthcare costs. Mm -hmm. And then if you had to narrow it down, I know it's hard, but what is your biggest priority right now as Pennsylvania state representative? I want to get people back to work. I want to get our economy up and going. I want to see our kids back in school face to face full time. Um, I think that's the number one priority right now. And second to that is transparency and accountability and government spending. I want every taxpayer to know where their dollars are going, what it's being spent on. Um, I've opened up my books on what my costs are and what my expenses are every month. It's on my website. And I think it's important that the taxpayers know where their money is going. And then our final question for you is we know that there's been some arguments recently between Republicans and Democrats, and we just want your opinion on why do you think that there's arguments and how can they become civil and get along? I actually think we do a, a good job of that. I'm co-sponsored on two bills. Um, one is the Charter School Reform Bill with Joe Cerisi, who's my um, neighbor representative. Um, I'm also on Victoria's Law with Representative Jeannie O'Neill. and. I think when you look at a problem that you're trying to solve with legislation, you just have to come together and work together, and we're doing that. And we're doing that a lot more than I think the media tells you about. Um, we're a lot more cordial than I think the media tells you about. We're not going to agree on everything, but nobody agrees on everything. Mm -hmm. Even within your own party, you don't agree on everything. But it's about compromise and doing what's best for the people of Pennsylvania, not about getting your personal agenda fulfilled. Um, and we continue to work um, to, to make things better for Pennsylvanians. So I, I, I think we're doing a good job of working together to get stuff done. That's so great to hear. Thanks. <laughs> that is great. Well, thank you so much.